Hi, it's Dr. Darren Schmidt at the Nutritional Healing Center of Ann Arbor. And uh, I ha had some requests to review what lactic acidosis is. I just did a video on the history of it. So um, let's go through this. I'm going to draw this by hand. I'm going to do a black marker and a red marker. And uh, if you're in the healthcare field, or if this is your hobby, or if you have an interest in healthcare at all in any way, whether it's body work, medicine, holistic care, nutrition, exercise, you got to know lactic acidosis. It's the mechanism of chronic disease. It occurs with lactic with uh, exercise, and your body handles it. It occurs with excessive carbohydrate <coughs> consumption. It occurs with toxicity. It occurs with mold, mold poisoning, and um, th there's different ways to take care of it. And you can be a vegan and take care of it. You can eat, be a meat eater and take care of it. And ketosis is usually a really good tool to help take care of it but it's not required. So let's go over this. So here we have cells in the body <clears throat> and uh, they are consuming, they're burning sugar. And uh, there's only two fuels in the body. One is sugar, the other one is fat. So the body's burning excessive amounts of sugar, maybe for too long or for whatever reason. And in the process, this is called glycolysis. In the process, one hydrogen is released. That's the acid part of lactic acidosis. Now from here, you have four waste products. Lactate, <clears throat> acetate, acetaldehyde, acetaldehyde, which is the hangover feeling, ethanol, which is alcohol, ETH, ethanol, which is alcohol, so dopey feeling, um, irritable, grumpy, uh, nausea and um, both lactate and acetate make arteries dilate just being in blood okay now all four of these need to be handled by the liver <clears throat> and uh, lactate becomes a fuel again it becomes a sugar by the body so in the blood 75% uh, of lactate can be reused recycled as energy so that's why this is called the lactic acid cycle it's also called the cachexia cycle. Cachexia is the description of how people die. You can have cardiac cachexia, meaning you've had a heart attack, and now you're dying over the course of weeks, for example. You're losing weight. You can't keep on weight. They keep feeding you lots of calories. Cardiac or um, Cancer cachexia, it's the same thing. You can't keep on weight. You're dying. Your body is dying. So the word cachexia in ancient Greek um, means bad habits. And what's the bad habit? It's sugar. So, so sugar, grains, bread, rice, pasta, in excessive amounts relative to fat. That's the problem. So now protein burns like sugar. Now I'm not saying protein burns like sugar, <laughs> sugar uh, chemically in the body. What I'm saying is that clinically it burns like sugar in that it keeps the blood sugar high, protein does, and it prevents ketone uh, production. So ketones are... Um, water-soluble molecules that the body um, produces from fat. So when you eat a lot of fat and you have this much, this much fat in the body relative to sugar, your body turns these fat molecules into ketones and, and uses that as fuel. So there's the lactic acid cycle. Now getting back to these four things right here, <clears throat> I already mentioned that the first two dilate the arteries. Well all four of them combined are all poisonous and they crowd out the oxygen. So here's L for lactate, or lactic acidosis. I could do this, here's W for waste products. Here's O for oxygen. The waste products go up relative to the oxygen, and now you have a hypoxic condition, hy hypo-oxygen, hypoxic, or anoxic, A means without, so without oxygen. So here's, here's your waste products, here's your oxygen, this happens, and now your blood is very poisonous too. It's hypoxic or anoxic, and toxic. So the body's trying to get the oxygen to the cells and it's, the cells are trying to dump waste into the blood and that's that's normal um, metabolism and respiration but with the blood being toxic and hypoxic um, the cells start to uh, starve. Now and the arteries are dilated which makes the circulation slow down and um, that then the capillaries get engorged and the cells starve and they start to die and um, muscle, when muscle cells die, they tighten up. That's called rigor mortis. You have a dead body on the floor. 
within a half hour, hour, all the muscles are real tight um, because the muscle cells are dead and they tighten up. But after a couple of days, all the muscles are limp again because the actual structure of the muscle has been broken down. Okay, so you get tightness up here, you get diagnosed with anxiety. You get tightness right here, you get diagnosed with angina or a heart attack. Um, and this, these are muscular symptoms. If you get tightness right here, they diagnose you with, with fibromyalgia. If you get um, capillary engorgement of toxic, hypoxic blood in the brain, there's no muscles up here, so you don't get a tightness feeling, but the muscle cells starve and die, and then you get psychiatric problems. Anxiety, worry, doubt, fear, bipolar, um, the list goes on and on. You can have this occur in your stomach and now you're nauseous. You can have this occur uh, throughout your, your circulatory system and now your ankles are swollen, your feet are swollen. You can have this happen um, in your skin and now you have um, dry skin or you have you know, some sort of skin symptoms. So this can occur anywhere in the body and it creates cell death, which is tissue death, and then organ death, and then body death. So if you got a 10 year old kid who's got anxiety, he's got this going on, and um, if he dies at the age of 70, that means he's had lactic acidosis for 60 years and nobody fixed it. You gotta fix this. Okay, so how do you fix this? Um, I'm gonna use this red one. Okay, you gotta get the sugar out of your blood, and what that means is get the sugar out of your diet, and your body will always maintain um, five grams of sugar no matter what, you can have no carbohydrates and your body will make sugar from protein or fats. So let your body determine how much sugar it wants. Don't override your body's decision making by consuming a can of pop and putting in 40 or 65 grams of sugar. That's way too much. Five, okay? So when you, when you, when you get rid of the sugar, you gotta increase the fats. That's the other fuel. That's called ketosis. When your body's burning those, um, those fats, SIS right here. Okay, so this problem is gone. Okay, now if you you know if you have too much sugar fuel, uh, sugar consumption, too much sugar burning, you get a lot of waste products on this side, and if your liver's not working too well, <clears throat> then you get waste products on this side. So solving this with ketosis, and then solving this by feeding the liver to make it work well, and or detoxifying the body which also includes detoxifying the liver. So I've been uh, using this fantastic detoxif detoxification program from Systemic Formulas. Um, I've been studying it for a year. I started using it six months ago, and I'll do another video on it, but I have a video called Detox Your Brain, and it's been brilliant, love it. Okay, so, and then I talk about in my other videos, Cataplex B and Cataplex G. These are supplements that were designed in 1934 by Dr. Roy Lee, back when all the doctors were talking about lactic acidosis. And my video on that is called King of All Supplements. So I've had a lot of people get rid of all their lactic acidosis symptoms by fixing the liver using Cataplex B or G. He also had seven other products, or I'm sorry, a total of seven products at the same time, and they're all designed to fix lactic acidosis. So as I study these products and the way that Dr. Lee thought, it's really fascinating and very captivating and enlightening, and it's, it's very positive. So there's also Dr. Henry Harrower who talked about it, Dr. Otto Warburg. These are the, the pioneers and the founders of, of uh, physiology and normal body function. Okay, so to get that liver working good, um, detoxify it, feed it, that'll eliminate these three things out of the blood, and it'll turn this back into sugar this way. Okay, so there you go, that's um, lactic acidosis. Now, if you're a vegan and you don't want to go into ketosis, well, I'm sorry, let me back up. You can go into ketosis as a vegan. So you're eating lots and lots of plants, and then you add in plant-based oils. Coconut oil, avocado oil, extra virgin olive oil, and there's other options, nuts and nut oils, seed oils. And I've had three vegans do this and um, started losing weight, the, and one guy had cancer, and. He was in ketosis most of the time. Now, if you don't want to go in ketosis because uh, somebody's talked you out of it for whatever reason, you can just ignore this whole thing, keep your cells burning sugar, but the sugar has to be only from vegetables and uh, some fruit, okay, but mostly vegetables. So what do, and you can juice vegetables. So what happens when you eat a ton of vegetables and you eat and you drink a lot of juiced vegetables, 
<clears throat> it cleans the body out. It cleans this, these two right here. So as long as you're addressing two out of the three stages of lactic acidosis, you'll be good. Okay, now having said that, I believe the human body absolutely needs fat in the diet. And uh, when I taught low carb for 19 years to my patients, I had people feel better, brain work better, cholesterol down, blood pressure down, and I wasn't happy with the results like it should have happened more often. But I got positive results from low carb eating. But um, it wasn't enough. And now in the last year I've been teaching ketosis, now I'm getting these fantastic results that I've always wanted my whole career. Okay, so, so I've been doing ketosis plus fixing the liver. And of course, my patients are eating vegetables, so they are addressing this. So really, they're doing all three. And then um, being a vegan, you just do, you clean this up and you clean this up with the plants. Um, and then you add in some ketosis with the oil. That You can do all three. So the arguments on YouTube are such that um, the people who, okay, I gotta say, I gotta say this. I've helped people reverse the most dreaded neurological conditions, like Alzheimer's. And uh, the scary sort of, I can't think straight, I can't remember my friend's name, that kind of stuff. I've straightened that out before. The brain is made out of fat, you gotta eat fat. There, there's a vegan diet with no fat whatsoever, cannot fix Alzheimer's. So you gotta load the body up, the brain up with fat. Okay, so I'm gonna stand by that statement 100%. So now there's research showing that a vegan diet can prevent Alzheimer's in that there is anti-inflammatory pro-healing nutrients in the plants. Okay, I can see that. But um, if you're not feeding your, your, your body the fat that it needs, I think it's very detrimental. So all the cell walls are made out of fat. All the hormones are made out of fat. Um, of course, all the nervous system is made out of fat. And so it's just part of our anatomy. That's just how it goes. So, um, so there you go. I've, I've, I tried to divide this up so that pe people can approach this in different ways. But um, really the best way to do it is address all three of these by eating lots of vegetables, make sure the liver works right, and all the, all the detoxification processes in the body occur in all the cells. So it's not just the liver. And then I'm, I'm such a big fan of ketosis and the results have been great. So there's my uh, summary. I've been studying this for a year and a half now. And I'm the only person in the modern world who understands it this way. Um, there are some people that talk about lactic acidosis in that people show up at the hospital with acidosis and they're near death. They have a few days to live. And that's one um, way you can look at lactic acidosis. But if you back up decades earlier, that person was sick a long time ago and they just had a little bit of lactic acidosis. And they got drugged for it. They got drugged for their pain. They got drugged for their psychiatric problem. Um, they got drugged for their other, you know, their whatever symptom that they have. So, um, it's a, and the other thing about getting drugged is that it affects the liver negatively and it makes lactic acidosis worse. Drugs are patho uh, pathogenic, meaning pathos, meaning disease. Drugs cause disease. And that's just how it is. They're, they're poisons. Uh, pharmacon is the Greek word for pharmacology, and pharmacon means poison. So no matter what drug you're on, it's causing harm to your body. Yeah, it's holding you up, it's propping you up, and they're needed. They keep people alive, and that's great. And I don't want to bankrupt all the drug companies. I just want to bankrupt some of them, because we need more focus on the natural route, cleaning the body, fixing it up, getting the metabolism right, right, and... Um, and, re and uh, recreating health, and that term is called salutogenesis. Saluto meaning salut to your health. All right, if you like this information, please give me a thumbs up and a share and a subscribe. Thank you.